Hello, hello, welcome to Bag Lady Bird Learn to Sew. So you've asked for it, I am going to show you today in this tutorial my technique for sewing rolled hems. So this is a really simple technique um, that helps you create rolled hems on most weights of fabric. So I use this on really um, lightweight fabrics such as viscose and I also use it on heavier weight fabrics, well mid-weight fabrics such as linen. Um, and it can give a really good finish um, to your hems. It can be done on a straight hem or also on a curved hem without too much bother. Um, so let's get cracking. Okay, so to sew a simple rolled hem, and what I'm going to do first of all is just a row of uh, stay stitching, just a single row of stitching on a single row single layer of fabric um, and I'm going to sew keeping the edge of my foot level with the edge of the fabric. You can do it smaller than this but this is the, the width that I'm going to make the rolled hem. So this is on a curved seam. Just want to show you how easy it is to sew. So I haven't back tacked on this, I've just sewn straight off, we've got a single row of stitching close to that edge. Now what that does, it gives you an edge to fold this over. So you can do this without any pressing once your fabric handling skills are up to that. If you are um, new to sewing this type of thing, then I would suggest at this stage you press this over. So that row of stitching will give you an edge to help you fold it over. So I'm going to take this now to the ironing board and press that over. Okay, so we've got this edge now pressed over. So what you want to do is you want to fold this over again. Now at this stage you can press it and you can pin it. I find it's easier to work on a section at a time at your machine and just use your fingers to turn it over. So I will show you my technique now. So I fold over that first bit, I'm going to put the presser foot down on the fabric and the needle down into the fabric. And I'm going to work on a section just to the front of the machine um, base at a time. So I'm going to reverse now, back tack, back to the starting edge and then come forward. And I'm just keeping this edge just past the fold, the, the edge of the presser foot just past the folded edge of the fabric. So that means that when my needle comes down, it's coming right on the edge of that fold. So each few stitches I will just bring the next bit down and you're just using your fingers to keep that nice and flat as you approach it. So turning it over and continuing to sew. And you can see here that this hem is relatively curved. You probably wouldn't often have a hem this curved on an actual garment. You might do from time to time if you're doing a, a shirt with a, a shaped seam or something like that. You might. But it's quite an extreme curve we're working with here anyway, just to show how easy it is to, or how possible it is to do a really neat hem with that with that curve okay so we can now trim our threads on both ends and I can show you 
how neat that looks from the wrong side and then how neat it looks from the right side. So you can then press that and sharpen that up, sharpen that edge. Okay, so I'm going to show you now how to sew an even narrower rolled hem. I'm using a calico because it's a more stable fabric and also it gives you a better contrast to be able to see it. But the more you practice and the better your fabric handling skills get, the more you'll be able to do it in a, um, a less stable fabric such as a viscose or even a chiffon but it takes a little bit of practice um, to get those fabric handling skills up to handling those more tricky fabrics. So practice, practice, practice. But this will give you a lovely narrow rolled hem. So what we're doing first of all is as before, we are just stitching our first row of stay stitching on a single layer of fabric, edge of the fabric, level with the edge of the presser foot here. And this is just on a regular two and a half stitch length. Trim the threads and now I'm going to go to the ironing board and press that over. Okay so now we've lined up with the edge of the folded edge of the fabric really close to the needle. So we're less than an eighth of an inch from the edge now. I'm keeping the edge lined up with that um, side of the front of the foot, the centre of the foot where it has that little indentation, it's almost like a U shape rather than a point, so I'm keeping it level with the right hand side of that U. So it's much easier to do this type of hem on a fabric that presses well. Um, okay, so we're going to cut that, cut that, and then we are going to trim this excess off. So we want to be really close to that second row of stitching we've just stitched and I'm going to trim that across the whole length of the fabric. Now we've folded this edge in, pressed it in place and now we're going to do the third and final pass of the sewing machine over this hem. So we're just stitching along close to that um, second row of stitching, the one we can see in the middle of the folded hem stitching along that. Just lifted the foot there because the hem was getting twisted under the presser foot. So long as the needle is down in the fabric you can lift the presser foot when the machine is not sewing. Okay so you can use this technique on floatier or on um, curved hems just takes a little more practice and a little more um, care. It is trickier, so make sure you've practiced well. So that's the wrong side of the, the hem, and then the right side is like that. So you've got a really narrow rolled hem without any special machinery, any special feet. I actually find this much easier than using the rolled hem foot. So there we go two different techniques for sewing rolled hems.